Okay, so we're working on uh, the rebound ratio of a ball. And the worksheet said that on Saturday, Julie was on a roof of her house gathering balls and toys that had accumulated um, in the past six months. And for whatever reason, her brother was watching at the bottom as she had all these ball, this ball and she was about to throw it off the roof. Um, so they say her initial height up here is 16 feet. I can write feet. So her initial height is 16 feet, and her brother is going to watch this ball bounce, and he starts making a chart about the bouncing of the ball. Okay, so what's happening is initially the ball is up here at 16 feet, and it's not bounced yet. It has not been let go. And so because there's no bounces, if you look at that chart, what you see is that um, it has a zero, right? But then when she lets it go, it comes down to the ground, and this would be the bounce right here, and this would be the first bounce, right? But when it comes back up, it doesn't go all the way up. It goes partially up. It goes partially up, so it's like here, right? Maybe halfway. And then the ball comes back down. Of course, this is straight. I'm showing it moving forward because then it's easier to see it. And then it comes up again, and this is the second bounce here. And then if we look at this, it does this again. Up it goes, about at midway again, comes down, and this is going to be the third bounce. And it'll, it'll keep going, it'll keep doing this, it's going to come up midway or so, come back down, come up again, the fourth bounce. Okay. What you notice is, when you start looking at this, is in the after the second bounce, it gets up to 8 feet. Okay, after... And originally started at 16. And after the third bounce, after the second bounce, it gets up to 4 feet. And so then, if you notice what's happening here, it's going halfway. And then, so the next one then is going to be 2 feet. And you could go on and get 1 foot. And you can keep going with it. So, what we notice then is we go back to the worksheet. And in the chart, they're asking, what was the rebound height? When the previous slide, I showed you how it was at 8, and then it rebounded and went up to 4. So then it's going to be 4. The height after after it bounces, that's the rebound. After it bounces, the rebound. You get 4. And so then it, that becomes the new in highest height, the initial height, right? So after the third bounce, you get to 2. And that's because the ball's going from 16 feet, and it's going down, and it's coming up to 8. And then it's going from 8, it's coming down, and going up to 4. This is the first rebound here. The second rebound there. So at the after the second rebound, how high did it get? It got up to 4. After the first rebound, how high did it get? It got up to 8. And that's what these ones here fill out, is it says 8, 2, 4, 2. What Alex notices is that there's a pattern. He calls it the rebound ratio. And is a fraction that's made by putting the maximum height of the ball over the previous maximum height so the max over the previous so after the first uh, right here after the first rebound it only gets up to eight so we put that maximum of eight over the previous which was 16 so eight over 16 would be the rebound ratio that you get come up with You can also look at 4 over 8, because there, there we have a rebound height of 4, and we can put that over the previous height, which is 8. They're both, they're all the same fraction. They all both equal what? 1 half. So the rebound ratio becomes 1 half, and that's what you write over here.